This video, we will talk about our volumetric analysis and titrations. So we'll focus on the titration process here. So for the titration process, first of all, you have to transfer a known volume of analyte to the conical flask with pipette, okay? Because you are using pipette, so the volume of the analyte used will be very accurate. So pipette, our pipette the solution into a conical flask. This will be placed okay, at the bottom part. Do remember you have to fill the burette okay with exit and also have a white tile below to help us to see the color change easier second part you have to add suitable indicator into the analyte so remember it based on strong exit weak exit okay strong base or weak base different combination you will have different indicator after that okay these solutions should have a color in it and then we're going to prepare for the titration process do remember you need to take the initial burette reading so try to do this at the eye level okay if you're going up or down like this okay your reading will be different and then you start the titrations run the titrant okay into the conical flask you add this one into the conical flask okay bit by bit until the endpoint color reach when you see there is a persistent color change you can stop adding solutions from the burette and the volume of titrant used you add right there okay will be equals to the final reading final reading that means here minus the initial readings so the difference right there will be the volume of titrant used so after that okay do remember we have to repeat for a few more trials because one or one off okay for this one maybe the results is not accurate we need to take average for this so this is uh, basically a titration process what we need to do so uh, for sketching a titration setup this is so common to be asked in public exam so i recommend you to remember for a titration setup you have to have free apparatus and free chemicals involved in it so basically the free apparatus okay that will be the burette you have conical flask and okay more than that you should have a white tile right there okay so this one you have a white tile actually you draw all this would be good enough but for me i prefer to draw the stand and clamp as well so you can draw the stand and clamp like me okay so uh, basically free apparatus very important not only free a you also have free c when you do the labeling with okay, free c we talk about the exit remember don't just label as exit okay it is not okay to do that you have to say hcl h2so4 also alkaline don't say like that okay naoh koh and also the indicator have to be specific you're using mefa orange or phenolphthalein okay so um remember okay the exit and alkaline actually they can be placed okay in the burette not necessary to be alkaline on the top okay even though long time ago the alkaline okay are uh, most likely will be put away in the conical flask but now it will be fine okay so the burette okay you may draw like uh this one very detailed okay but for me okay i will draw it like this way that would be also good enough so that would be a long slim tube okay and then you have a tube like this so this will be the tap okay and then the conical flask will be like this that will be good enough okay and then you draw the standing clamp remember leave some space for the white towel to put it there and then you just draw the clamp okay basically like this will be all right okay so uh common mistake uh people will draw something like this to me okay it is not acceptable acceptable like this okay because the tape okay will be narrowed down first and then it will be look like this so this one is absolutely wrong and you can't use a beaker to do that because it, during the titration you will swell the solutions okay you spin it okay if you use a conical flask okay you'll find that um when you swell it okay the liquid will spill out okay and also do remember you have a white towel with you and all these things is not okay because it didn't tell you what exit you're using what alkaline you're using what indicator you're using so this one is an epic failure okay so um question okay would be look like this okay stream perform an exit alkaline titrations so you see that with NaOH and a eventual exit remember this is a weak exit and then we got a strong base so strong base weak exit strong alkaline so therefore the endpoint will be pH 
larger than seven, so you should use phenolphthalein. Okay, for this one, pay attention to the spelling. Okay, so or uh, the indicator. Okay, I think should be phenolphthalein. Okay, so if you add phenolphthalein into the acid in the very beginning, you should have a colorless solution, and you will aim aim at having a very pale pink color as the end point. Okay, remember if you say pink. Normally, it won't be exact because pink means more than very pale pink. That means extra alkaline added into it. Okay, so write an equation for the reaction ethanol acid and sodium hydroxide. Uh, this equation, it can be an equation. It can be a full equation. So uh, just write a, a full equation for you here. Okay, so when you combine, you got water, OH, H, okay, and then the Salt for that, okay, will be CH3COONA. Remember, this one is special. The metal will be put at the back because this one is an organic salt, okay? So the name for this one is sodium ethanoate. Okay, remember, end with O-A-T-E. A is done. B, B, mentioned already, sodium ethanoate. Name apparatus of Y. Y, what is this? This one should be burette. Okay, pay attention is double T. Okay, naming. Okay, you have to pay attention to spelling. Naming, pay attention to spelling as well. D, suggest what acid base indicator we have to use. Okay, just like we mentioned, because we're having a strong base and weak acid combination. So we have to choose it carefully. Okay, so that should be phenolphthalein. Okay, pay attention to spelling. H, T, H, and A, and E right there. Okay, and there is also an L. Okay, three part, you always make mistake. Last one, state the expected color change okay so you have to talk about the initial color and the final color at the end point so don't beyond the end point so it should be from colorless to very pale pink okay so next question demonstrate acid alkaline in our uh, titration this time we have hcl strong acid strong base so whatever indicator you will be all right so we use miva orange here so miva orange into sodium hydroxide at the very beginning before any HCl add into it it should be yellow in color okay and then it will be approaching orange color don't say red because red that means beyond the uh, end point already okay so yellow to red okay will be anticipating okay and then i'll uh, write ionic equation okay so this one is very specific so acid ionic okay it have to be h plus NOH have to be O minus, so it will be H plus plus OH minus becomes H2O. And then B, what apparatus used to deliver 25 cm cube to the conical flask? Okay, you may say it is a pipette, but if the marking is very, very straight, okay, then you won't get any mark, okay, because you have to tell them it have to be 25 cm cube pipette. So this one, please get used to this, okay, when you talk about pipette, okay, or volumetric flask, do state, okay, the volume that you're using. Color change, just now mentioned, yellow to orange, okay, this is a change, okay, so you have to talk about uh, before and after. If teacher using 0.1 mnh 3 instead of NaOH. So if you use NH3, that is a weak base. Strong acid, weak base, that means more close to the acidic part. The end point should be smaller than pH 7. So can we use Miva Orange for that? Okay, yes, we can keep using Miva Orange. So this one will be all right, okay? So, summary, okay, we have learned about the process of titrations. You transfer solutions using pipette into the conical flask. Set up the things like this, okay, you add suitable indicator to give a color change for the alkaline. And then you read, take the reading, very, very important. Initial readings, okay, and then you start adding the solutions, okay, into the analyte, okay, until the end point color rich, okay. After that, okay, you do the uh, subtractions, okay. Initial readings will be here initial reading final reading should be downstairs okay so final reading minus initial reading then you will see the volume added okay so after doing this okay you're going to repeat a few more trials to get an average okay to have a more accurate result set up sketch remember 3a 3c for this one better add the white tile and also the standing clamp okay so that's all for this video bye bye